In today's video, we're going to show you how to do screen sharing from your iPhone on your Kenwood Exelon head unit. So stay tuned. So one of the more popular questions we get asked a lot is how do I get my video from here, Netflix, Hulu, Waze, YouTube, onto my radio? Yes, sir. And in order to do that, on an iPhone specifically, you need an HDMI adapter. You need a lightning HDMI adapter, and you need some way of plugging an HDMI into the radio. Okay. Now, most of the radios don't have an HDMI input. What I say need? Well, you need an HDMI input. So, what we use is iSimple makes the MediaLinks cable. Now, this is an RCA to HDMI adapter that allows us to do that. Now, depending on what type of phone you have, in this case, we have an iPhone here, you need a Lightning to HDMI adapter. If you have an Android phone, most Android phones have gone away from the MHL style connection, which is something that looks like this, and gone to over the air, which is Mirrorcast. Now, the principles, as far as hookup goes, are about the same. So if you want to keep watching this, go right ahead. You just, instead of using this, use a Mirrorcast dongle. But in this video, we're going to concentrate on an iPhone. That is not to say for you Android guys, we won't have that video. We will. So check out for that if you need to watch that one. Okay, as far as this goes, let's get to the install, okay. shall we? So in the back of the Kenwood radios, what you want to look for is this guy right here that says iPod slash AVN. The AVN means this is your auxiliary video input. So then take your CA C3 AV cable and plug it in. And that's pretty much it for the back of the radio. So now that we have the C3 CAV plugged into the back of the radio, we have our video input. So now what we want to do is plug in our iSimple MediaLinks cable. And we're just going to match up the colors. So yellow to yellow, red to red, white to white. And we're done with that. What we want is this right here. This is the HDMI. So now that we have all that out of the way, we're ready to plug in whatever we're going to do for screen sharing. So if you've got an Android phone, you're going to plug your Mirrorcast dongle directly into this. If you have an iPhone, you're going to need an HDMI cable so you can plug in your lightning adapter. So for this, we're going to plug in the lightning adapter. So we have an HDMI cable. Plug that in. All right. Move along here. We have our HDMI in. We have our lightning adapter. Now, on the back side of this, you'll notice this guy right here. This is the charge port for your phone. So what you want to do is take the lightning adapter that you have in your car, either hooked up to the Kenwood USB or hooked up to a cigarette lighter or whatever, and plug it into here like this. Now, all this is for is charge. It's not needed for anything else. So if you don't want to charge your phone, you don't even need this if you don't want to. It doesn't move data or anything like that. So nothing is, nothing is pushed over to this, just charge. All right, so now we have our lightning in. So we've gone ahead and done all that to get to this point right here. So let's go ahead and plug in our phone and we'll hook it up to the radio and show you how to do that. So now we're into the radio. A couple things we want to make sure are set properly. We're going to want to go into settings. We're going to go to system. And we want to go to iPod setup. Now this is important whether you have an iPod or not. You want to make sure that it's set to USB 1 wire and not USB AV in. If it's set to USB AV in, this isn't going to work. So make sure USB 1 wire. Select OK. Now go ahead and select home. Hit your 9 key and select AV in. Give it a minute. It'll go ahead and pop on. And from here, you can screen share. So you can screen share anything you'd like. So for example, go ahead and pick something to do. So in this case, let's go ahead and launch Pandora. We can listen to Pandora. And while Pandora is playing, we can come over here. 
and launch Waze. So now we can have our Waze up and listen to some form of music off our phone through the auxiliary input. Now one of the limitations of this is you can't listen to AM FM radio while you're doing something like this because you're using the auxiliary as the source. So this is all that can be playing. So you can listen to stuff like iHeartRadio, Slacker, you name it, any form of music service you want while displaying this. And the other thing too is you have no control. Like this isn't gonna, you can't hit buttons and stuff like this. You have to use your phone in order to make this function. And also, that means your phone has to be active while it's going on. So one of the fun things you might want to do is, let's say, watch YouTube. So go ahead and watch your YouTube player. Go ahead and press play. And there you go. Now you're watching YouTube. Watching a little old school car stereo with Big D-Wiz. I'm out of here. And of course, you obviously have the volume. But well, that was easy. Oh yeah, it's totally easy. <laughs> it's only like 10 feet of cable attached yeah, to it. Yeah, but that's easy. Right now, that's kind of the downside is that they're cables. You have a ton of cable. But in the end, you get to watch your shows, or do your ways, or do whatever you want to do. You got your phone. You got your phone, you got your phone and, and your, it's in your dash. It's rock and roll. All right. Well, with that note, <laughs> thank you for watching. You guys can find us on Facebook, YouTube, and Instagram. And we do these things five days a week, so we have tons of information out there for you to look at, watch, and digest. Like, share, subscribe. Please, and thank you. You guys have a great night, and we will see you later next time. Bye.